were parred and the windows all fastened down. I spent the night in sleeplessness, rose at every sound, half in hopeless sorrow, half in fear the day would find us soldiers breaking through, drag us all away. It was just before the sunrise, I heard something at the wall. The gates began to rattle, and a voice began to call. I hurried to the window, looked down into the street, expecting swords and torches and the sound of soldiers' feet. There was no one there but Mary, so I went down and I let her in. John stood there beside me. She told us where she'd been. She said they moved him in the night, and none of us knows where. The stone was rolled away, and now his body isn't there. We both ran to the garden, and John ran on ahead. We found a stone in the empty tomb, just the way that Mary said. And the winding sheets they wrapped him in was just an empty shell. How it were they taking him was more than I could tell. Well, something strange had happened there. Just what I did not know. John believed a miracle, but I just turned to go. Circumstance and speculation could lift me very high. As I saw them crucify him, then I saw him die. Back inside the house again, the guilt and anguish came. Everything I promised him just added to my shame. When at last it came to choices, I denied I knew his name. I, I knew his name. And even if he was alive, it would be the same. Suddenly the air grew still with a sweet and strange perfume. Everywhere drove the shadows from the room. Jesus stood before me with his arms held open wide. And I fell down on my knees and I clung to him and cried. Well, he raised me to my feet and I looked him in the eyes. Love was shining out of him like sunlight from the skies. Yield in my confusion disappeared with sweet release. And every fear I ever had just melted into Heaven's gates are open wide. He's alive. 